Hi everybody, this is Will Bowen with today's Jump Start. Today we're concluding the yamas of the Hindu faith, that is the uh, five thou shalt nots. And today is Aparigraha, Aparigraha. And Aparigraha means that thou shalt not be greedy or overly possessive. Don't be greedy or overly possessive. I, I don't think I've told you this story yet, but my neighbor, who I really, really like, lives right next door. I like all my neighbors, and I'll tell you more about that in a future episode. But uh, my neighbor, uh, Shane, has a Tesla, and I've got a classic convertible that I really enjoy. And one day I was watching Shane and it was a little icy outside. And anyway, he and his son were standing at the back of the driveway when I was very near there. And he had his cell phone and he was using an app to back his car out of the driveway. All of a sudden, I had to have one of those. All of a sudden, the car backs out by itself. Are you kidding me? I have to have it. Now, something that I didn't even, I'm sure I knew that this technology existed, but something I hadn't fully even grasped 30 seconds ago, all of a sudden became a need. They say that luxuries often become necessities, which become obsessions. And that's what happens when we don't practice or when we practice a parigraha, and that is we become greedy, we become possessive. We can also become possessive of other people, possessive that people follow our way of doing things. Try going an entire week without giving advice to somebody. Wow. Try uh, uh, setting people free to allow them to do things that seem the way they are the most important for them. Because each of us is trotting our own path here. So it's about surrendering. It's about releasing people and it's about and, and things and not being attached. It's funny as I, as I, get older. I'm wanting fewer things, but better things. This shirt, by the way, I have worn this very shirt you're looking at for prop. This is the 13th time I've worn this shirt without washing it. Now, <laughs> before you go, oh gosh, it is an uh, unbound merino wool black t-shirt and they're expensive they're 65 bucks for a t-shirt but man they because they're wool they completely repel bacteria and I've worn this on trips and everything the point I'm trying to make is I'm becoming less attached to having all these shirts and having something that is far more uh, uh, practical and something that is going to serve my needs so Watch yourself. The economy is based on greed. When I first started working, uh, first started working out of college, my first job was selling radio advertising. And when they told me to write advertising, they said, there's only two drives. You've got to make sure you hit both of them. Guilt and greed. Guilt and greed. So in other words, you're going to be bombarded today with tens of thousands, and that's true, tens of thousands of advertising messages, all designed to make you feel guilty and greedy. And to the extent that you're able to keep away from those feelings of guilt and greed, you will be far happier and far more content and feel far more connected to spirit, however you choose to define spirit. So that's the last of our yamas. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about niyamas. Be sure and post your co uh, comments and questions below. I respond to them all personally. And enjoy today. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.